Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making Betty Crocker's Roman Country Beef Dinner. I'm starting out here on my six quart stovetop pressure cooker and I've had viewers ask me, well why do you use a stovetop one over your electric one? Because I have to go in here two or three times and it's a lot easier to open and close with the gasket than an electric one. So I have my six quart stovetop pressure cooker warming up here and I'm going to add in some olive oil. And this recipe here originally calls for doing it in a regular pan but it takes up to two hours and I don't have that kind of time so I'm going to do it in a pressure cooker and knock it out in about an hour so I have a pound of uh, diced up stewing beef cubes I'm going to get them in this olive oil and brown them up I want to try to separate them as you put them in so they get nice and brown and this is off one of those Betty Crocker cards out uh, the recipe box that my brother got me at the flea market and gave me this recipe from 1975. So we're going to fast forward to 2015 and cook this the modern way. Even though they had pressure cookers out back in 75, I don't have the time to have back then. So I'm going to get these beef cubes browned up and then I'll be back. Right now my cube beef is browned and it only took a few minutes. I'm going to add in three cups of water. I had that down on low, I'm going to turn it back up on high to get it going. I'm also going to add in one large onion that I diced up. And this is going by Betty Crocker's recipe that I have on the card, and I'll show you guys the card in a second. Alright. Now here's this card. And, like I said, this card was printed in 1975. I don't know how old the recipe actually is. It could be older than that, but we know it's at least from 1975. So I have my water and my onion in there. This calls for eight ounces of tomato sauce. Well, I overlooked that and I didn't get any. So I'm just gonna dump in about eight ounces of V8 tomato juice. And I'm just eyeballing this. If I go over a hair, that's fine. It's no big deal. All right, now I'm also gonna add in, I have a can of whole peeled tomatoes. This is a 28 ounce can. I'm gonna add the can and juice and all. Put that down in there. I'm going to add in my spices. Now, I'm reading the recipe off the card here, off the Betty Crocker card. This calls for two teaspoons of salt. I'm just going to eyeball that. About two teaspoons. Calls for some dried oregano leaves. A half a teaspoon. And it calls for some dried thyme, a quarter of a teaspoon. And they really like to use their time back in the 70s. Back in the 70s, 75 I was only 9 years old. The only time I knew was bedtime and I hated it. All right, now I'm going to stir this up. Now what Betty's recipe calls for is to cook this in a Dutch oven on low heat for an hour and a half to two hours so that beef is tender. But like I said, I don't have that kind of time. I worked uh, 10 hours today and so you get home and I took a short nap, I'm not looking at that kind of time frame. So I'm going to get this cooked in a half hour and that beef will taste and be as tender as if it cooked all day in a pressure cooker. So I'm going to seal this up, put my weight on, and when this comes up to pressure, I'll give it a half hour. And then when it's time to release the pressure, I'll be back. Okay, I know I said I was going to let this go for a half hour, but 20 minutes is more than enough because it has to cook with pasta in it then. That'll help soften the beef up, make it more tender if it isn't already. Now I release my pressure, I'm going to open this up. You always want to open it away from you. And I'm going to go in here with my spoon and I'm going to break down these tomatoes a little bit. Which are really super tender, so they're breaking up pretty good. Now I have a, a 14 and a half ounce can of green beans. I'm going to add this in juice and all. This called for a 10 ounce bag of frozen green beans, but... This was more uh, cost effective, cheaper this way, so I just bought it this way. And I have, this calls for six ounces of pasta. I have a 16 ounce box, box of elbow macaroni here. I'm going to put half of that in, eight ounces. And I'm just going to judge on this. That's not right. Give it a whole more. And I'm going to taste this for salt real quick before I close this up. That's tasting good. Now I'm going to close this back up, bring this up to pressure. I'm going to pressure cook it for eight minutes. 
so that elbow macaroni is tender and then this will be ready to go all right my time's up and I cooked this for the eight minutes like the director said on the box of macaroni let's open this up and get a look okay stir this up everything's looking good let's go ahead and fix up a bowl and see what we got all right, I'm going to finish this off by topping up some grated Parmesan cheese. And you can use fresh if you have it. All right, there you have it. Betty Crocker's Roman Country Beef Dinner in the Pressure Cooker. Boy, that was a mouthful. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see ya.